The S-Class has been an icon of stately luxury for decades. To shuttle or be shuttled in one is a luxurious experience on the inside and a rolling statement on the outside without being as flashy or in your face as something from Bentley or Rolls Royce and for a bit less dough too. Now the Benz flagship is all new for 2021 and it's as elegant as ever. But slide inside the cabin and there's a whole lot of tech going on. Does it make the experience better or is it simply tech for the sake of tech? So let's dive in and find out what makes the 2021 Mercedes-Benz S-Class the global luxury icon that it is. It's a big beast, but it plays the part well, all while retaining that classically cool styling the S-Class is known for. Still, the face is just aggressive enough. The front lights are taut and tucked into the fenders, and even on its base 19-inch wheels, the stance looks proper. The shoulder line has a gentle curve to it, and the rump is nicely rounded off, while the C-pillar angle evokes notions of the upper Maybach trims. You don't need to settle for 19s though, as 20 and 21 inch wheels are available and they do fill these fender spaces rather perfectly. The magic, as they say, happens on the inside and Mercedes has fitted this thing with crazy cool tech, but it is as comfortable as any S-Class has ever been. You can scroll through the option list to find things like an insane 30 speaker Burmeister audio system with in-seat bass resonators, an executive line package that adds 11.6 inch touch screens for rear passengers. You have heating, cooling, and massaging functions, but even here Mercedes goes a step above and can heat the headrests. If you're wealthy, you want to avoid cool brain. Even crazier still, Mercedes have created a convincing 3D effect in the instrument cluster. The system uses a pair of cameras to track your eyes, which then translate and adjust the image in front of you to make it appear 3D. Your right and left eyes see slightly different versions of this image to complete the effect. If it makes you sick or you think there's actual witchcraft at play, you can shut it off and then get back to the active driving, which is good because there's a ton of shove under the hood. The base S500 gets a twin charged three liter inline six cylinder engine. It makes 429 horsepower, 384 pound-feet of torque, and pairs with a nine-speed automatic sending power out to all four wheels. The bigger mill, like this one, which gets the S580 badge, is a twin turbocharged four-liter V8, cranking out 496 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. It uses the same gearbox and is also a 4MATIC model, and both benefit from the upgrade to 48-volt electrical systems. So, yeah, it's new, it's tech-focused, it's a big machine, but they've always been that way. Is it still an S-Class? Well, I can tell you right off the bat when you initially pull away, yeah, it is, because there's this presence felt in a modern S-Class that you get when you come away from a stop, and this has it. And this, since it's the S580, also has this. Oh, it just builds steam like a, like a, it's, it's cliche to say freight train, but this is a German luxury freight train. It is true. The steering wheel feels great in your hand. The seat is insanely comfortable. These headrests are bananas. The car's so comfortable, I decided to let our cameraman Josh ride along in the back seat and try to get a little nappy nappy time in while I do my in-car here. The HUD, the head-up display in front of me, is bright and big and easy to read, yet is not distractive. And then the crazy part is actually experiencing these 3D gauges in person. I was skeptical, but it's Mercedes and it's an S-Class, so I should have known they'd be kind of neat. They're not like, it's not like Back to the Future where the shark is jumping out and eating Marty McFly. There's a subtle, 3D effect to them where it almost looks like there's an old video on the internet where Walt Disney explains what multi-plane camera glass does to give their old movies texture. It's a really neat video. You should go watch it and go find it if you haven't seen it. It explains how there's different panes of glass to create different layers in the art and you can move them and it creates a little parallax effects which is useful for animation. Here in the Mercedes it just looks like the tack is just a little bit ahead of the odometer and the same thing on the left. So it's just ahead of the fuel gauge and then below that is the time and relevant information is up in front of you while the stuff that's less relevant is just a little bit behind it. But back to the driving specifically, this is a car in which you could log thousands of miles in comfort and arrive on the other side refreshed from the massaging, heating, cooling, heated headrests, the ease at which the car maneuvers around, all of it. There's a reason an S-Class is sort of 
the king of the world. Sure, there are cars that are more expensive, Rolls Royces and Bentleys, but that's more about the hand-built, bespoke flashiness, where this is just good at literally everything. It still lets people know that you have money and you're doing well and all of that, but it's, it's a little bit more incognito at the same time. Those who want to be seen are seen in Rolls Royces and Bentleys, and those who just get their job done and then still want to enjoy the finer things in life, they get an S-Class and they're rewarded with a machine that is still amazing to drive. Obviously, I don't know how the S500 feels, but that is a good amount of horsepower, but I will say the, this S580 has gobs of power, and the steering is perfectly weighted for what you're doing. The brakes are more than up to the task. All that stuff is good. I couldn't even imagine what the V12 and the S680 is going to be like for the 2022 Maybach, but I will say the 516 pound-feet of torque in this one, it's amazing. The base price has gone up over 15 thousand dollars. A 2021 S500 starts at $110,850. This S580 starts at just over $117,000. And if you start adding in options, you could be staring down a bottom line approaching 150 grand. And that's before the plug-in hybrid or mad AMG variants arrived, and we've barely touched on the concept of the 2022 S680 with its insane OV12. Regardless, Mercedes have raised the price because the S-Class packs next level tech, top flight comfort, strong engines, and a true amazing on-road presence. The Mercedes S-Class is the flagship of flagships.